All right, so um, we're going to prepare an SD card um, for Asterisk. So uh, we've got a micro SD and a cradle that goes into the laptop. So uh, I have to dust off my old laptop to uh, do this. Card goes in. Um, there's something on that. So um, if it's anything important you've got it on your SD card, obviously back it up because this is going to be um, cleaning up. So we've got this uh, little thing called SD formatter. We're going to get some ice cream. Uh, let's just do format. See, all that is going to be like destroyed. So yeah, 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 format. All right, so that's done. This is, as you can see, 32, uh, 32 gig SD card. Now we need to get to um, this imager thingy. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at what do we have here? Um, right, so we need this. All right, uh, we need to um, put an image, so I've got one which I have prepared, and that's the image which you can actually get from uh, once you get everything installed and configured um, from SSH. You can actually create an image file of your um, a configuration, so everything that you spend your time on and created trunks and extensions and so on. Uh, for message ages, just basically create an image of that just in case if you, uh, you know, have all kinds of failure or something. So you can always put it back and it works. So, yeah, this is this is the working setup I have uh, here. So I'll just click. And I'm going to go right. Um, something. Mm, basically right in that. So that's going to take um, that's going to take some time. So I'm just going to pause this video and um, resume on the next step. Now, while the image is being copied onto the SD card, uh, maybe I will explain um, what I just did. Um, I've used two um, different applications. I have used the SD formatter, which um, I'll put the links in description where to get it and how to use it. But itself. You know, pretty self-explanatory. Besides, you can rewind this video and just watch it again. And I am using Win32 Disk Imager. That is the piece of software that basically puts an image onto an SD card. Again, I'm going to put the description of how to get this uh, in, the, in the video description below. So um, while this is still being copied, I'm just going to pause it and uh, we'll resume in a little while. All right, so we've got the um, image on the SD card. So it's um, right, successful. Okay, exit. Um, let's uh, let's see. I think we need to still do this safety do thingy. Um, eject. Yep. Okay. Now we take a, a spare Raspberry Pi. Okay, so that one is uh, Model B um, with two USBs and still with uh, that yellow thingy. Um, we're gonna put that uh, inside, see what happens if we have uh, a joy. I'm gonna hook it up to, uh, to a HDMI and keyboard um, and a power supply and um, I'll resume from there let's hope it's uh it's all working so uh, i'm just gonna pause the video and resume in a moment if anyone actually noticed the time since uh i've uh, been putting the image on so uh, if anyone just paid attention to it it takes a little while to put a full image um if you have uh, a fully configured um, asterisk like i did my image file was actually quite big the original image file from asterisk side is uh, is very small you have to do all kinds of uh, reformatting i'm hoping 
I want to have to um, resize, reformat um, the SD card, though the process is not very complex. I don't particularly like doing it. So uh, let's see uh, after after I plug it in if we have uh, any joy with it. Right, I'm going to show you how to install Webmin. And I do have a, a copy of it uh, on on this um, installation. So I'm just going to have to look. Uh, it's the old Webmin 1.67. So don't worry about it. Ignore that because that's going to update itself. So uh, to install it, it's um, DPKG. Now, to, actually, in order to get this, you need to do what you get and then um, you need to specify the uh, the source so when you go to webmin uh, look for the latest webmin version and you will also show you the link which basically you just need to copy and paste in here so it's wget and and basically just the the path to um, to webmin We use dpkg install and webmin underscore one dot six seven zero underscore all dot deb. Let's just double check webmin and enter and let's see what happens. Click. Okay, something is happening, so um, obviously it's a good sign. Um, unpacking replacement webmin. So it could have been a case where there was already a webmin installed on this image. I'm not sure. I'm just testing a random asterisk image to see what uh, what what I can what I can do with it. So uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to pause this video and come back um, when Webmin unpacks. Right, so it says uh, Webmin install complete. You can now log into HTTPS, Raspberry BX 10,000, port 10,000, blah, blah, blah. Now, obviously, um, a Raspberry BX, um, I usually use the IP address. I never actually try Raspberry BX. I don't think it will work because uh, the way I have the system set up, my Raspberry is um, also a, a DHCP server, so it assigns IP addresses to any devices which don't have a static IP address um, preset. And also it runs um, TFTP server, so it makes sense when uh, a new device connects. So the DHCP connect, communicates with the TFTP, and then once the IP address is assigned, and if there is a request on a device for configuration, and the TFTP sent the configuration file onto uh, a device. In this case, uh, it's a Cisco phone. So then the phone knows um, where to connect, what password and what port and so on and so forth. So um, it looks like um, this uh, part of um, is done. So let's just go to, uh, actually, no, let's go to system information. And remember, this was a, a 32 gig card. It's uh, normally when you start from scratch, you need to reformat to Linux. Now, I've um, I burned the image of uh, a 32 um, 32 gig SD card because I already had 32 gig um, SD card converted to a 32 running asterisk with tons of different. Um, uh, customizations, uh, queues, extensions, and so on and so forth. Now, what do we have here? 28.8, yep, yeah, so it's, it, I, I won't even have to do anything. So once you've got your um, full installation of Raspberry Pi um, aster on Asterisk, and once you have all your webmin, once you have all your extensions, then everything that you need, it's probably worth to do an image of that, because if anything goes wrong, you know, it, it literally takes uh, half an hour to burn the full image onto the same size because I think it's something to do with, you need to kind of stick to the same size. 
um, obviously you can't. Um, and then you know, just put the card back in, and and you know, it's, it's as as you as you left off, um, or if you want to resell uh, your system, for example, you've created a, a resellable um, asterisk. Um, you can have a, a special image that you just burn onto an SD card and send it off to a client, which is already preset, pre-configured, and all they have to do is just enter the, um, the trunk details and set some extensions. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm going to put some more videos once I, I get uh, into another interesting, um, interesting bit, interesting part of uh, setting up asterisk on Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.